In this video, we will learn what is DevOps and CI CD pipeline, and what are the tools, and what are the various types of edges of development operations. Before we understand DevOps, we must know what is software development process workflow. So the very first team that is requirement team, basically they are responsible to collect the requirement from the customer or client that is requirement collection page and we are going to analyze it that is we are going to analyze the requirement that is requirement analysis page after that the design phase starts in the design phase is categorized into two types one is HLD and one is LLD. So HLD stands for high level design and LLD stands for low level design. Once design part gets completed, the program team that is developer starts writing the program that is code design and our development process. After this, the code will be deployed on the test server and developer is going to perform the white box test you can call it as unit test so this comes under program designer development team next process is the testing team and testing team basically is having two major server one is primary another one is secondary server so primary is known as SIT and it is having another subcomponent team that is SIT regression. The secondary team is known as EOT that is user acceptance test. And it is also having another subcomponent that is EOT regression. So these four major stages belong to testing team. So next comes here reproduction that is a replica of live environment we can call it as a live copy where we can measure our performance of the code this pre-production server next build moves to live next, most important point is we have to understand what is ci cd pipeline process ci stands for continuous integration and cd stands for continuous deployment process so let us assume here v1 is the very first code designed by the developer and it is deployed on very first stage of the testing server that is white box testing so after this the code modification process will be there i mean v1 plus code modification is equal to version 2 and this version 2 code will be again deployed on the next stage of the testing server so this is a continuous process observe here the so version 2 code gets uploaded on SIT or primary testing server so after this the request for code modification will go to developer developer will modify that code again b3 version of code will be deployed on the sit recreation team again defect will go and developer will modify the code and developer again v4 code will generate and again it will deploy on the next version that is secondary version of the testing that is EOT or user acceptance test again defect will go and again code will be modified and again the next version of the code will be created and this is a continuous 
process we observe here we can observe here the continuous deployment process done by the developer on various phases now so what we observe here the v1 code v2 version code v3 version v4 version v5 version and v6 version and continue so the logic is very simple here b1 plus code modification is equal to v2 v2 plus code modification is equal to v3 version and to be continued so the integration part is known as continuous integration process that is ci pipeline so this is very very important point in the development operation process next we can observe here the continuous deployment process so continuous deployment process goes on in various phases of the software development process workflow so this is we can observe here this continuous deployment process is known as cd pipeline and this ci cd pipeline at the most complex task during development operation activities so next we will understand what exactly the definition of devops so we can observe here the ci cd pipeline that is continuous integration and continuous development process is a very complicated process of devops so the main objective of devops is to automation of ci cd pipeline which will simplify and improvise the performance of development operations so to implement the automation process we are going to use various tools so next topic we are going to cover what are the various tools basically you can use on different phases observe here the process workflow diagram in the code and design development phase the first development operation phase gets started so that is continuous development process in continuous development process we are going to involve in the planning the code that is plan and next we are going to design the code so these are the life cycle devops life cycle process phases that is planning and coding next code will be deployed on white box server so here continuous testing process will be there in continuous testing phase we are going to involve in the build design process and test it so next comes the continuous testing process once it is getting completed we are going to integrate that code because that code integration code will be deployed on the testing server so that process is known as continuous integration after this the deployment process basically is a continuous process and deployment will be done at testing server as well as the in the pre production server that process is known as continuous deployment and here we are going to involve in deploy and operate so these are the various phases of development life cycle process after in the final stage we are going to monitor the performance 
of our code that is in pre production server that process is known as continuous monitoring here we are going to monitor our code so these are the development life cycles pages so now we can learn what are the various type of favorite tools basically we can use during devop process so very first stage is planning in planning phase jira confluence slack and splunk so in the coding phase uh, we can use uh, the favorite tools that is git uh, ansible you can use gitlab or sometimes you can use also eclipse these are the favorite tools in the market next comes build uh, we can use maven gradle apache ant and progressive next phase of development life cycle process is test so to test our code we can use various tools in the market the j unit sonar queue fi test or we can use selenium so during integration we can use jenkins uh, ci uh, circle the bamboo and trouble ci so in during deployment we can use the favorite that is docker kubernetes aws s2 server also we can use uh, heroku to operate the code uh, we can use a sap server a puppet and for monitoring purpose that is to design the performance matrix we can use nagi os logstash prometheus or and dot in the later video i will explain you what is agile because agile is one of the most important process in software development life cycle so and also i will explain you what is the difference between agile and devops so stay tuned thank you guys and stay happy please subscribe this channel bless your comments and like it i will list to you very soon with updated topics thank you very much